Coach Prime is going after another Florida State commit. <laughs> this, is, this is actually kind of funny. We're going to talk about it right after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is good, everybody? What is good, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Coach Prime obviously is an alum of Florida State, but he made shockwaves when he stole Travis Hunter, the longtime Florida State commit, the number one player in the country, when Travis Hunter took that Florida State hat, put it on, said, uh, threw that junk. One hand snagged the Jackson State hat and committed to Jackson State and signed to the Tigers on National Signing Day, early signing day in 2021. Well, there is another five-star currently committed to Florida State that just got an offer from JSU. Yes, the five-star running back out of, ironically, Georgia, same state as Travis Hunter, just picked up an offer from Jackson State. Let's take a look at his Twitter page, and let's not get ahead of ourselves now. Now, here we go. This is Mr. Cameron Davis, a class of 2024 five star running back. Says, Wow, extremely blessed to receive my first HBCU offer from Jackson State University. Obviously, the, you see the Coach Prime, you see the I believe, you see the offered big JSU logo right there. And I think Florida State fans might have slight PTSD because the last time a big time recruit that was committed to Florida State, a long time commit on top of that, flipped to Jackson State out of the state of Georgia. Now, Cameron Davis, like I said, is a five star running back, but he is class of 2024. So that is critical to remember. Why? Because class of 2024 are guys that are currently sophomores. They're rising juniors if your school year is you know about to end 22 of the seniors 23 are the juniors and 24 of the sophomores he's a rising junior so he's got a lot of high school left before he is able to sign his name on the dotted line and commit and sign to a school but that doesn't get stop us from talking about the excitement of possibly stealing another recruit from florida state now let's take a look at cameron's Highlight tapes. The man is dynamic. He is electric. He is a big kid. Like he is really, really big. Great, great size. Let me actually, before we do more of that, let's take a look at his 24 7 profile. 5'10, 190 pounds. Remember, this guy's a rising junior. I mean, he's a sophomore in high school. He's already 5'10, 190 pounds. He's nationally a five star recruit by 24 7 composite, the 28th player in the country, the fifth uh, Georgia player in the state of Georgia. He's the number five player in the state of Georgia. And obviously, when you're that good of a player, you got offers from everywhere. We're talking Alabama, Georgia, Notre Dame, Maryland. And now Jackson State, the class of 2024 is from Albany, Georgia. And he has been committed, if you see right there, committed to Florida State since since February of 2021. So we're talking about a commitment that's already lasted a year and that's supposed to last through 2024. Well, we know how things work in college football. If you follow college football, you understand that these commitments, when they're made this early, don't always last. I.E., example, for those who don't know what I.E. means, look at Travis Hunter, was committed to Florida State for two years and still chose to go to Jackson State. Now, a big reason why this commitment could flop at any moment. He could decommit from Florida State at any moment, besides the fact that Coach Prime is getting involved. And we know Jackson State, uh, the running back spot, even, even for the future, I mean, obviously right now, but he's this guy's years down the line, is, is a place that could use some improvement. Second of all, we don't know the future of Mike Norvell. Norvell has not been good at Florida State. Let's just be honest. He's recruited okay even though he lost his recruit, Travis Hunter, to Deion Sanders. But his record isn't good. It's, it's piss poor. And if he has another piss poor year or stacks two bad years on top of each other, you're not getting a kid like Cameron Davis to come to your program. I don't care what your history of running backs with Cam, you know, Cam Akers and Dalvin Cook and even going back to like guys like Ward Dunn, et cetera, et cetera. It don't matter. 
Because if you continue to put bad seasons together, this type of talent isn't coming to your program, period. Now, like I said, he's a not, he's a big, strong kid coming out of Georgia. He is versatile. They list him as an athlete on the 247 website. He's the number five athlete in the country. He is able to really get through some tackles, strong, really strong at the point of attack. you got to think this was his sophomore season. Look at what he was able to do as a sophomore. Listen, guys, this is a sophomore. This is talent, and this is going to be something to watch for the JSU fans. Five-star committed to Florida State from the state of Georgia, getting an offer from Coach Prime. I'm not saying it's going to happen again, but lightning can strike twice. That is all I'm saying. It's going to be interesting to watch his recruitment moving forward and going to be interesting to see what happens at Florida State. If they have a coaching change, be sure. Just know that Coach Prime is going to get in there on this young man, Cameron Davis, the five-star out of Georgia. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lights Jr. with the Black Boss Channel. Thank you, guys. Be sure to hit that thumbs-up button, and I will see you next time. Peace.